We made it all the way to the ACC championship against ranked number four Virginia Tech. Everybody thought we was going to get blown out. Wasn't going to score one touchdown the whole game. Even some of my teammates thought we were going to lose. But what did I think? Well, I didn't think anything. All I was focusing on was playing the best game of my entire college football career and try to get this win. And that's what happened. We actually blew Virginia Tech out with a score of 45 to 19. And everybody in the world was shocked that rank number 23, Syracuse, us, we, was going to the Orange Bowl, going up against the rank number three, LSU Tigers. And that's when it started all over again. People were saying we're going to get blown out. Wasn't going to win. People were saying we won't even get over 21 points. We wasn't going to do this. Wasn't going to do that. After a few days of all that negativity from the world, it was starting to get to me. And it carried over into the biggest game of my life so far. The Orange Bowl. It was just bad. Everything that can go wrong on the field for a quarterback was happening to me in that game. And for the first time, the world was right. The world was right. We did lose. But we didn't get blown out. And we did score over 21 points. Final score was 44. LSU to 30. Syracuse. And it's crazy because a couple of days after the game, I was at home still upset at myself. And I was watching TV, and I seen Skip Bayless and Stephen A praising me. Praising me, even though we lost. And while I continue to listen, these are the exact words that I heard Skip say. Antonio just might be the first ever player in history to get drafted to the NFL after one year of college. He came to an unranked team named Syracuse, turned that entire team around, made that team better, made that team a ranked team, and took that team all the way to the Orange Bowl and gave LSU a fight. I couldn't believe what I was hearing, and so couldn't my family. I might be the first player in history to get drafted to the NFL after one year of college. That is crazy.